How's it Grant here and welcome to my camera comparison between the Google Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. A couple of highly anticipated phones from Google this year and like they normally do they've made some improvements in the camera department not just in hardware but also in software and so being about $300 more with the Pro you get an upgraded ultra wide angle camera which is wider field of view you get an upgraded telephoto camera with a five times optical zoom and a new selfie camera. On the standard 7 you also get the same upgraded selfie camera you do not get the upgraded ultra wide angle camera and they both use the same 50 megapixel samsung gn1 sensor from last year it's a very good and large sensor so hopefully google's going to optimize on that for the second year in a row and now being about 300 dollars more than the standard 7 with the pro you also get things like macro mode a longer range digital zoom up with about 30 times which is actually very good and very stable and they both share things like 10-bit HDR video and you get 4K 60 frames per second video on both rear and front cameras. And so with all that being said, I'm gonna show you a bunch of photos and videos so you can decide for yourself if spending that extra $300 on the Pro is gonna be worth it for you, if you're gonna use all those features or not, or if the standard seven is worth saving some money for here as far as camera performance for how you tend to use your phone. But before we get to all the photos, I want to show you what the cinematic mode for the rear cameras look like here in an indoor setting with some controlled lighting versus what it looked like outdoors with that natural daylight that you saw. So let me know what you think about cinematic mode, how it looks like in this particular setting, and let's go ahead and check out all the photos and videos.
everyone, so here's a rear video test of the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 7. As you can see, they both are actively recording. I'm starting out with the ultra wide angle camera here, and this is with HDR turned off, as well as the improved audio is also turned off here, voice enhancement. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like here from these cameras with HDR and the speech enhancement turned off. And I'll just pan around with the ultra wide to give you a feel for what that looks like here. And let's also move into the main camera on each now, on the Pro and on the standard 7. Both use the same Samsung GN1 sensor, really nice large sensor, and hopefully they've been improving upon it this year. And let's go ahead and come back with some HDR footage. All right, we're back with the ultra wide angle camera here, this time with HDR and the speech enhancement turned on. And you'll notice that the Pixel 7 Pro has the wider field of view because it has that upgraded ultra wide angle camera over the standard 7. And so let's go ahead and move into the main lens so you can see what that looks like here with HDR and speech enhancement. So on the Pro, and on the standard 7. So again, same Gen 1 sensor, same Tensor G2 chipset, so same video processing, should look about the same. But when we pan over here to the right, we'll test zoom, and of course that's where the difference will be. We have a two times digital zoom here on each, so let's try and see if we can hit that. So let's go to two times on the Pro, and two times digital on the 7, should look about the same. But of course we can move into that five times telephoto zoom on the Pixel 7 Pro, and you saw it shift and clear up and it's very stable, very steady zoom on the 7 Pro. And we can move into a max, let's see, seven times. Well, let's go back that out so you can see five times digital compared to the five times optical. So there you go, five times digital on the standard seven compared to the optical on the Pro. And of course you can go max seven times digital here. And the zoom is also very steady on the Pixel 7. It steadies out as you move it around. So it's both pretty stable. Obviously it can be a lot clearer on the 7 Pro, but you can move into a, about a 7 standard zoom there as well on the Pro. Still looks much clearer than the digital zoom on the standard 7 because it's using its telephoto lens to do that. And we can move it further in to about 10 times. You go to about 15 times and you go max 20 on the Pro. So very stable, very, very clear using that telephoto zoom on the Pro. So let's go ahead and back both these out one times on each and let's test autofocus here on the post first with the 7 Pro and away and again so pretty snappy autofocus here and a pretty nice shallow depth of field or blurred out background with that large Gen 1 sensor so now with the standard 7 should be about the same pretty much one more time pretty quick autofocus as well again same sensor same processing and let's go ahead and test stabilization we'll walk down the stairs so you can see what stabilization looks like here in 4k side by side on the Pro and the standard 7 and of course we'll jog to try to stress out that stabilization a bit here. So there you go, rear camera video from the Pixel 7 Pro and the standard Pixel 7. All right, so this is active stabilization on on each. This gives you extra stabilization if you're doing kind of outdoor shaky activities. So let's go ahead and jog to see how stable it really keeps the camera here. So there you go, quick test of active stabilization here on both. Should have looked about the same, but let me know what you think. All right, so here's the cinematic mode on the rear cameras, and this is limited to 1080p, 30 frames per second, or full HD on both. No 4K video in cinematic mode. So this is what it looks like here outdoors. There's a lot of sun coming down right in front of my, on my face, so there should be more than enough light for this. You can see the artificial background blur being produced. I'll just go pan around so you can see how that blur and that effect uh, changes or how well it keeps up based on the changing lighting conditions now pointing straight back into the sun. So if we just go back around, we'll also start walking. So you can see how the effect holds up with a bit of movement here. So let me know what you think about the cinematic mode here on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro.
everyone, this is a front-facing camera test on the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. You can see they both are actively recording from the front-facing cameras. And this is being shot at 4K 30 frames per second with HDR, 10-bit HDR turned on on each, as well as the speech enhancement features. So there should be some improved audio here coming from each. There's a lot of background noise, so it's a good test, I think, of that speech enhancement feature. So I'm obviously outdoors in some shade, some good even lighting conditions, so I can see how these cameras do in some pretty decent lighting conditions here, not too challenging, but I'll go ahead and move over into the direct sunlight. So with the sun now coming directly on my face, you can see what that does to the picture quality here, as well as when I pan around, so you can see what that looks like with the changing lighting conditions as it shifts around here. And with the sun now directly behind me, you can see it right up there, how that's doing with both of these cameras. And they should be the same front-facing camera, I believe, same processing, so it should look about the same, but we do the tests just to see. So there you go, we'll walk to test the stabilization as well. So just let me know what you think about the front-facing camera on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro here. Everyone's here with the front-facing cameras again, this time at 4K 60 frames per second, just to give you a feel for what that looks like here. I'll pan around to give you some motion so you can see what that 60 frames per second might look like here and how that differs from that 30 frames per second video. Also note that there is no HDR uh, video option here at, at 60 frames per second and you don't have speech enhancement as well at 60 frames. So let me know what you think about this 4K 60 footage on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. So here's some low light video from the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. This is the ultra angle camera on each to start and this is at 4K 30 frames per second. HDR video is on as well as the speech enhancement. As you'll notice the Pixel 7 Pro has the new ultra angle camera with a much wider field of view here than the standard 7. And so let's go ahead and move into the main camera on each. So there you go with the Pro and then on the standard 7. So this is the main sensor now on each. I'll just pan around to give you a feel for how this looks like here in this particular setting with the main cameras and how they're doing into that really bright street light. And both seem to be having it fairly well considering how bright that light is. And if you pan around this way, we'll start walking to test stabilization. 
but also to test this out in some different lane conditions. I like to start out in that well lit area so you can see how these cameras perform with some pretty good lighting and how they're going to start to perform as the lighting gets a bit darker, a little bit more challenging here as you walk this way. And pay attention to some of the micro jitters. You're going to notice some of that as it gets a bit darker. And as you round the corner here, it's much darker out this way and both these cameras are definitely brightening up things a little bit more than what they are with what I'm seeing with my own eyes here. And if we pull up, we can point up into the night sky and it is cloudy. So those are definitely some clouds. It's not the coloring or anything with the low light. That's pretty much how it looks, a little bit brighter than it actually is though. And if we pan around this way, you'll see how this looks like here down this little bit darker alleyway, some lighting coming off of buildings and how that's doing in this particular lighting situation. So there you go, 4K low light test on the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. So here's a low light test from the front facing cameras on the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. This is being shot at 4K 30 frames per second, 10 bit HDR video, as well as speech enhancement is turned on on each. And so I'm starting out in my usual testing spot with some pretty good lighting conditions around me. So I can see how these cameras can do in some fairly optimal light here and a bit of low light at night. And so let's go ahead and start walking so we can test the stabilization out side by side. And all this should be looking the same. They are the same front facing cameras, same Tensor G2 chipset for processing. So all this should be looking the same, but that's why we do the tests here. And I've got a water fountain to my right so we can test out how that speech enhancement feature is doing to cancel out that background noise against the sound of my voice here. And if we pan all the way around, we can see how these front facing cameras do with some really bright street lights behind me, as you can see there. And overall, not too bad considering how bright those lights really are. And we can move back this way into this darker area here. So you can see what that looks like here in some more challenging lighting situation side by side. And as far as what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, they both look the same as you would expect, but we'll see once we get this off the phones. And so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, I think, for this camera comparison between the new Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. So let me know what you thought. And if you think that it's worth the $300 upgrade for the cameras alone, you are getting that upgraded telephoto lens on the Pixel 7 Pro, you get macro mode, and you also get that 30 times digital super res zoom. And so it's gonna be up to you if you think a lot of those extra camera features are gonna be worth it for you on the 7 Pro, or if you think you, from what you've seen, the standard 7 is gonna meet your needs or not. But either way, I think you're gonna get a good value. They both have the same Tensor G2 chipset and all the other great software features that Google has to offer. So it's just gonna be up to you if you like the size and the advanced camera features of the Pro, or if you wanna save a little bit more money and stick with the Pixel 7. From what I've seen, they both are producing some pretty good results here. So it's just gonna be really up to you and what you need for your needs. But do let me know what you thought and which one you prefer in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.